Hey legends it's me Psychov. As we all wants to be hacker. So this is the tutorial for the beginners so today I am gonna tell you about the 10 very useful software. Which are mainly used by all the hackers. So let's start. The first and best software at NMAP is an abbreviation of Network Mapper, and it's very well known free open source hackers tool. NMAP is mainly used for network discovery and security auditing. Literally, thousands of system admins all around the world will use NMAP for network inventory, check for open ports, manage service upgrade schedules, and monitor host or service uptime. NMAP, as a tool uses raw IP packets and creative ways to determine what hosts are available on the network, what services, application name and version, those hosts are providing information about, what operating systems, fingerprinting, and what type and version of packet filter slash firewalls are being used by the target. The second software is Metasploit. The Metasploit project is a hugely popular pen testing or hacking framework. Metasploit, along with NMAP, see above, and Wireshark, see below, and probably the best known three hacker software tools out there. If you are new to Metasploit think of it as a collection of hacking tools and frameworks that can be used to execute various tasks. Also, we should also add that if you have never heard of Metasploit and are interested in getting into the cybersecurity industry, especially as a penetration tester, then this is a must learn to The third best software is John the Ripper. This is the coolest named tool out there John the Ripper. Often you'll see it abbreviated as JTR. This is an awesome bit of hacking software that is designed to crack even very complicated passwords. John the Ripper mostly just referred to as simply John is a popular password cracking pen testing tool that is most commonly used to perform dictionary attacks. This tool can also be used to perform a variety of alterations. The fourth software which is used by the hackers is THC Hydra. We have purposely placed THC Hydra underneath John the Ripper because they often go hand in hand. THC Hydra we have abbreviated to simply Hydra throughout our site is a hugely popular password cracker and has a very active and experienced development team. Essentially THC Hydra is a fast and stable network login hacking tool that will use dictionary or brute force attacks to try various password and login combinations against an login page. This hacking tool supports a wide set of protocols including mail pop 3 IMAP etc. databases LDAP SMB VNC and SSH. Take a look at John the Rip. Fifth hacker's software is OWASP Z. The Z Attack Proxies app is now one of the most popular OWASP projects. The fact that you've reached this page means that you are likely already a relatively seasoned cybersecurity professional so it's highly likely that you are very familiar with OWASP, not least the OWASP Top 10 Threats listing which is considered as being the guidebook of web application security. This hacking and pen testing tool is a very efficient as well as being an easy to use program that finds vulnerabilities in web applications. Zap is a popular tool because it does have a lot of support and the OWASP community is really an excellent resource for those that work within cybersecurity. Zap provides automated scanners as well as various tools that allow you the CyberPro to discover security vulnerabilities manually. Understanding and being able to master this tool would also be advantageous to your career as a penetration tester. If you are a developer then you have it's obviously highly recommended that you learn how to become very proficient with this hacker tool. Sixth hacking software is well known to all the hackers and it's widely used. The name of this software is Wireshark. Wireshark is a very popular pen testing tool and for over a year it was not included on our list. However, by popular demand we added it in late June 2016. Wireshark essentially captures data packets in a network in real time and then displays the data in human readable format, verbose. The tool, platform, has been highly developed and it includes filters, color coding and other features that lets the user dig deep into network traffic and inspect individual packets. If you'd like to become a penetration tester or work as a cybersecurity practitioner, then learning how to use Wireshark is a must. There are a ton of resources out there to learn Wireshark, and, of particular interest, there's also a Wireshark certification which you can achieve and place on your LinkedIn profile. The seventh software used by the hackers is Aircrack NG. The Aircrack suite of Wi-Fi, wireless, 
hacking tools are legendary because they are very effectively when used in the right hands. For those new to this wireless specific hacking program, Aircrack NG is an 802.11 WEP and WPAPSK keys cracking hacking tool that can recover keys when sufficient data packets have been captured, in monitor mode. For those tasked with penetrating and auditing wireless networks Aircrack NG will become your best friend. It's useful to know that Aircrack NG implements standard FMS attacks along with some optimizations like correct attacks, as well as the PTW attacks to make their attacks more potent. If you are a mediocre hacker then will be able to crack WEP in a few minutes and you ought to be pretty proficient at being able to crack WPA, WPA2. For those interested in wireless hacking we'd also highly recommend taking a look at the very awesome Reaver, another very popular hacking tool that alas we couldn't add to our list. The 8 software is MaltGo. MaltGo is different in that it works within the digital forensic sphere. MaltGo is a platform that was designed to deliver an overall cyber threat picture to the enterprise or local environment in which an organization operates. One of the awesome things about MaltGo which likely makes it so popular, and included in the Kali Linux Top 10, is its is unique perspective in offering both network and resource-based entities as the aggregation of information sourced throughout the web. Whether it's the current configuration of a vulnerable router within a network or the current whereabouts of your staff members on their international visits, MaltGo can locate, aggregate and visualize this data. For those interested in learning how to use MaltGo we'd also recommend learning about OSINT Cybersecurity Data Procurement. Nineth software is well known to all people known as Kane and Abel Hacking Tool. Kane and Abel, often simply abbreviated to Kane is a hugely popular hacking tool and one that is very often mentioned online in a variety of hacking tutorials. At its heart, Kane and Abel is a password recovery tool for Microsoft Windows but it can be used off-label in a variety of uses, for example, white and black hat hackers use Kane to recover, that is crack, many types of passwords using methods such as network packet sniffing and by using the tool to crack password hashes. Kane, for example, when used to crack password hashes would use methods such as dictionary attacks, brute force, rainbow table attacks and cryptanalysis attacks, and the last and most useful software is Nikto website vulnerability scanner. Nikto is another classic hacking tool that a lot of pen testers like to use. Worth mentioning that Nikto is sponsored by Ness Parker, which is yet another hacking tool that we have also listed in our directory. Nikto is an open source, GPL web server scanner which is able to scan and detect web servers for vulnerabilities. The system searches against a database of over 6,800 potentially dangerous files slash programs when scanning software stacks. Nikto, like other scanners out there, also scans for outdated, unpatched, versions of over 1,300 servers, and version-specific problems on over 275 servers. Interestingly, Nikto can also check server configuration items such as the presence of multiple index files, HTTP server options, and the platform will also try to identify installed web servers and web applications. Nikto will get picked up by any semi-decent IDS tool so it's really useful when conducting a white hat slash white box pendist. Certainly a great tool to learn your skills on when attacking an open box for training. So these were the all top 10 tools which are used by the hackers. For more videos do not forget to subscribe this new channel Psychov. We do not forget. We do not forgive. We are the anonymous. Goodbye and stay connected.